All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Today I'm give you a presentation about how to like boost up your mobile desktop workflow, starting with the word logging. Then we go into debug abilities, how to solve some like typical issues on mobile desktops. And I'm going to give you some advice mm -hmm. or suggestion on how to do some performance tweaks. And then uh, <clears throat> this is the, my the famous quote I always keep for myself. And I, I want to uh, remind my, me when I work on mobile apps and when I work with my college, risk quality is never necessary. This is always the result of intelligent effort. Yeah. Uh, a little bit um, about myself. So my name is Supercast. I came from Sweden. I started mobile development since 2006-2008. Um, back then it was like um, a Symbian and then we have iOS and Android. I have less mobile, several mobile team uh, and products. So I know quite some uh, about mobile development, include the CI, CD, and therefore the setup, team structure, everything. Uh, and I'm proud to contribute uh, 40 million plus app download so far in Captain. All right, uh, so let's get back to the main topic today. Um, this is the most popular like brand or issues the mobile developers get when they work on a mobile project and say, hey, it works, but it only works on the machine. But when they deploy or run it on CI, CD workflow, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, and when it breaks, you may or may not have a clear indication why it works or why it breaks. Um, and then it's hard to measure the time and the cost when it's running on CI CD provider. And finally, um, when it run on uh, the CI CD provider, you do sometimes get it's hard to find a place for optimization, how to how you can make it faster, how you can make more code efficiently, where can you start it? Right. And this is the, um, the suggestion from, from me, like always start with the login. So the login is your best friend. And <clears throat> depending on the cases, you need to collect different kind of logs. And because of different logs, they stay on different places. So you know to you need to know where to collect them. And once you collect all the logging, uh, make sure it's transparent, it's clear, it's easy to, to read and then easy to analyze by, by either by you or by the team. And once, um, and once you have the logging, you have the insights, it's time to turn into actions like actionable items you have to you need to make it a my regular practice and you based on the log or the inside you will see where you want to uh, optimize or how you uh, automate all the steps like log collecting analyzing uh, a lot and so on okay so this is the a standard um, infrastructure or um, standard architects for the mobile DevOps platform where you can run your workflow. Uh, this is three component. And the first component is the mobile app itself. So that's where then you have all the uh, compile app you run via unit test and so on. The second uh, part is the workflow with all the uh, the built-in command or plug-in or step 
that help you to provision your your build procedure. For example, a step to clone the project, another step to uh, to build the project, another step to do the <coughs> uh, analysis, security analysis. And the final third block is the platform part. That's where it's mostly <coughs> the, the, the virtual machine and your workflow is running on, and on iOS simulator or Android simulator is running on. And that can be either Linux, it can be Mac OS, depending on the type of uh, mobile project you want to, to build or to want to run it. And uh, for the workflow, uh, you have some typical issues like uh, you have the issue with code signing, you have the view arrows, and for those kind of issues on the workflow, normally, normally, you have a, a very clear indicator where it fell and why it fell. Um, so this is one example uh, on, um, on Bitrace workflow error that um, I did it for demonstration purpose. And I, I create a workflow, but I forgot to put on um, a parameter. And then the uh, uh, workflow give me an error code that is super clear. Uh, why it break and then what I should do. Right, so uh, in some, so uh, for, for most of the case, we are fine with the errors uh, handling on workflow, but it's like um, for trickier cases, like sometimes your app can build, but it doesn't, uh, run it on unit, unit test. Or sometimes pass, sometimes fail for no reason, and the arrow doesn't give you very much clue on what it is. That's where you need to dig a little bit deeper into either to the remote access into the, the virtual machine to see what's really going on, or you need to collect the log inside the iOS simulator or Android emulator to see, uh, okay, what happened when the app crashed? And um, when it crashed, um, what is the, the reason for the crash? So this is the one example that I, uh, I collect a log in uh, iOS simulator. And I see the it crashed when I run on uh, UI test on which price. And for this kind of error, there's um, you don't have uh, the error like this in the workflow uh, level most of the time. You can only find it if you jump into the iOS simulator log and then collect it and then create a log from here. So next is the counterpart from Android. So you have the similar command that you can collect a lot on Android emulator, and then you can like do some further analysis and so on. So just quickly pass it, and then you one is crash. You can have an other way to collect all the crashes. Like a simple command in your workflow can collect all the crash and then export into the view artifact. And that's, I think that that's really help for the team to uh, investigate uh, what it break, there's something wrong with the, the view or the, with the unit test on uh, your CI CD workflow mobile desktop uh, provider. <coughs> Right, and finally, it says the, uh, the most tricky part is like on the platform side, like you see that, okay, um, suddenly the view is lower. 
or it throw a, a critic error that you cannot find it either on the workflow level or on inside the um, simulator or Android emulator. And this is for this case, uh, you need to did it at the lowest level, uh, platform level, either in the system block or you need to install a certain of uh, uh, IPM software to, to measure the, or to benchmark the system. Okay. Um, here I give you an example of how can can collect the uh, system log on Linux virtual machine. Uh, just to make sure that okay, I have uh, four CPU allocated. Uh, it's nothing wrong with the um, the VM CPU allocation and so on. Uh, if there's something cause the my build is slower, uh, then I need to keep uh, the uh, investigate in further. And if there's some issue with the network and also run um, TCP dump, and that's re that will really, really cut all the outgoing traffic, ingoing traffic from that virtual machine. And you can see, okay, um, we can check if it's uh, a network issues inside your app or either um, network issues in your mobile desktop provider. Hmm. Okay, uh, I think we are done with uh, the login part. Now let's go to the uh, optimization part or actionable item. Like how can I, as a, for example, as a mobile developer or mobile lead, mm -hmm. to figure out if it's efficient or how I can, where I can go for optimization. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and here I will give you a live demo on the, uh, uh, how I can uh, collect the, the benchmark and I do some further analysis. Right. So uh, on mid rise here, um, I have and BitRise app with uh, all the builds here. And for each build, I configured it to collect the um, system benchmark. For that, I can do uh, easily just add one step called Telegraph metric agents into my workflow. And I put on, I set on the default configuration and variable. And the rest is just all the normal step for me to build the, the app and then get the artifact. Okay, so I have a successful view here. Uh, we start with the telegraph matrix collection. And then finally all review and then deploy it to be rest. So once the build complete, I have only the artifact, which is the, the metrics. I collect it from the telegraph step. And I just downloaded it, downloaded it, and then I, I will, let's see. And then I will set it into an influx DB to analyze it. Go here, benchmark, add data, and then I upload the, day, the metrics I have collected. And then write it up. Right, it's done. From now, I can just go to the analysis part. So I have already prepared. Uh, here, so check this is much clearer. All right. So uh, I have the 
query what process consume the most memory or most the RAM. And you can see that is a um, the process name bit rise take the most RAM uses. What's next is the node from Node.js. So uh, this is one example that I can see. Okay, which process take the most RAM and why is that? Um, and when it takes the most RAM in the build, for example, Node.js, it can take 80% uh, of your VM RAM in the first phase. But in the later phase, it doesn't consume at all. But here in my workflow, I have the uh, Node.js take about one gigabyte RAM and then gradually decline it. I can also uh, query how many CPU uses of process use. And I can see that uh, the bitrate is the most uh, CPU uses process, the most intensive uh, process. And for other process, you can also do like further analysis and what you can jump on and see. Right, uh, see. All right, so this is a past one now. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I just can just look at here. All right, so CPU uses 10%, uh, not very much, but you, I can also do some further optimization. Uh, I have a backup slide for a clear example here. So I can sh just show you. Right. So here we have the CPU uses for the Node.js process. It starts in the middle of the, the build. That means the first part, there literally is spared CPU you can use. Um, and you can use that to run parallel process. You can schedule course analysis, for example. And that's where you can maximize all the CPU you are allocated for the VM. Right. Similar for the other process, and this is the RAM uses for the view. Uh, and uh, let's recap. So we have gone through the uh, log collecting. We have gone through the how to analyze the log and turn it into insights and understand where you can uh, optimize your workflow. And uh, mm, for different kind of log, you have different way to collect different way to analyze it. And that would end my uh, presentation. And I would kindly ask my colleague Rita to stop the screen sharing. For that, we can go to the Q&A session. Thank you.